what's up so today it is 1 a.m i am getting ready for the wedding this sunday which is today um breaking down the studio uh let me show you not everything needs to go but some of it do so that's what i'm doing now mic over here got sub and a speaker some lights some mic stuff some more mic stuff let's get this so loading up first gig since Rona wish us luck do we need these backpacks over here Yes. Let's go. So the reception's gonna be over here. I figured maybe we'd just bring everything up those stairs. I don't know. You have any, uh... All right, we got the stuff up here. Time to set it up. What do we have here? Luckily, they have speakers built in, so we're gonna test the uh, aux cord, see if it sounds okay. If it does, we won't need to set up a speaker, which is always a plus. Just some aux. Aux. All right, so cocktail hour is gonna be outside. It's a little toasty, but no problem. We got the QSC 8 here. Then just have an iPod with an aux cord going in. And then we got power there. Set up here. So the <laughs> If you don't have a ring on it, 
gig back since the coronavirus pandemic it was actually a friend's wedding um, and that was awesome and extra challenging at the same time because since we knew everybody we missed everybody um, nobody was really wearing masks except a few older folks and I had asked the couple if people were planning to wear masks and they said no 
So my plan of wearing a mask kind of went down the drain after they shared that information with me. So I decided not to. Um, I guess I didn't want to be judged like, oh, what is the DJ doing or, you know, I don't know. So definitely have mixed feel had mixed feelings about that. So I went with no masks. Well, we did have it, but we didn't wear it. But what we weren't really ready for was the physical contact that people were wanting. Um, and any day of the week prior to this craziness, I'm a physical being. I love high fives, hugs, all that. And with this, I was really not comfortable. You know, my hugs were like, <gasps> hold my breath, kind of side deal. Like it was super awkward, you know? Normally I'm like heart to heart, boom, you know, hold, you know, just exchange that energy and that, that, that love, that, that, the, vibe, the vibes, you know? But this time it was different. Um, so I know you were, definitely faced with the same challenge. And if you want to share a little bit of, you know, how it was for you. Yeah, it was, like you said, it was kind of difficult because we knew ev most of everyone who was there, their friends. And so it's, yeah, we haven't seen them in, it's what, like six months into the year. We haven't seen them for almost that long. And so everyone's really excited. They aren't really being um, I guess as cautious or thinking about you know the virus and the spreading in the back of their mind they're just excited to see you and so yeah it was a bit awkward trying to hug people it's like I don't know what to do it's awkward for me it's awkward for them I didn't want to like hurt anyone's feelings by being like no don't touch me at the same time I was feeling like I should kind of put boundaries in place I just didn't know how to um, because yeah I, I was kind of hiding behind the booth at one point instead of going around getting video and footage like usual because people had someone come up from the back and just touch me and grab me out of nowhere and it's kind of like oh you know kind of like displacing I guess um, to be touched and not be ready and not know how to handle it um, so that was kind of my experience um, with the uh, touching part um, but how do you feel like the overall event went coming as the first kind of event back? I mean, I feel like other than that, it went well. Yeah, I mean, so glad to be DJing for the live crowd, friends, you know, pretty much family. It was incredible. Um, also, you know, so exciting, so excited for the bride and the groom, you know, been friends for a while and it was so emotional like i was holding back tears several times you know i'm very like uh emotional person uh and it was amazing never had a bride sing to the groom before so that was definitely incredible um experience and i feel like overall it was a great event uh, there's a few things that definitely can be improved on. Um, I had a challenge in the beginning because it was a Sunday wedding and it was during the day. So daylight was, you know, present. I felt like it was a little bit harder to get people dancing. So I had to resort to the line dances at first. Um, but we had, you know, a hip hop crowd. We also have a country crowd. So it was, it was kind of, you know, challenging because I know as soon as I went from hip hop to country, I was going to lose the hip hop dance floor and it was just like a reset, you know, but the, but the cool thing was the country people were ready for the country. So they came out dancing and having a blast. So I, it was awesome to see everybody um uh, integrating and dancing and have a good time regardless of the music uh, so that was really cool to see um and i love being part of these milestone events you know seeing two families come together uh it's a beautiful thing especially you know different colors different 
um, cultures, races, you know, it's just amazing to see everybody bonding and, and, you know, just love being present. So that was awesome. What else? And also we're recording this. It's been a week, a little bit more than a week after the event. So now we're starting to deal with the aftermath, so to speak, of people not being as cautious um, with the virus going around. Um, so what do you want to speak to that? So yeah, we received uh, a text message. Uh, unfortunately, one of the groomsmen felt sick and got tested and it was positive. So a lot of people are getting tested and results are coming back positive for coronavirus. And um, even Tiffany, how, you know, you want to share how you felt and all that? Yeah, so um, Thursday after the wedding, I noticed I started to feel that great. And of course, like everyone else, <laughs> we go online and start Googling our symptoms. And we're like, oh my gosh, you know, this is kind of the same symptoms as what the COVID is um, from like literally not being able to smell anything to um, having a little bit difficulty like breathing or talking for long amounts of time because I'm trying to catch my breath, like body aches, chills, um, pretty much like a more contagious cold had been my symptoms. So I was kind of struggling going to get tested because the waits were so long and when I was experiencing the symptoms, I didn't feel like waiting in a doctor's office for two to three hours with other sick people. Um, so I was finally able to get tested yesterday, Monday. So now it says um, five to seven days before I will know the results. Um, I am starting to feel better with just like over-the-counter cold medicine. Uh, mostly right now, it's just like a lot of um, nose being stopped up, not being able to smell, still kind of really fatigued and tired. So that's, you know, it's kind of scary. I mean, it's good. I'm glad that I didn't get, um, I'm glad my symptoms are really just kind of minor, so to speak, in the realm of other people are dying from this and are stuck in the hospital. So I'm glad it wasn't um, an extreme severe. case or yeah, severe strain of this. Um, yeah, I'm having a little difficulty kind of talking right eye out breath now. So those are my symptoms kind of now and going forward, um, I guess I get to be the cause in the matter of, you know, regardless of what other people doing, my health is my responsibility and my priority. So I need to, um, set my boundaries and we were also going to talk about kind of like tips of what to do and you mentioned a really good one um it was you know if someone comes in for a hug and you're not ready just you know i'm not ready for that and i think you did like you're really good explaining that just so people kind of know and they immediately see your hands are up and they're kind of like oh wait let me stop um just so you can you know if you don't have your health you don't have anything so yeah, we're definitely finding that health is wealth and you definitely, that's really the most important thing, especially right now. Um, so, you know, if she has it, I probably have it because we've been sharing queso dip and whatever else, you know. So I'm definitely going to be wearing masks, you know, regardless of what people might think. Um, I want to protect myself and I want to protect the spread of this thing and I don't want anybody to get it. Um, so definitely, you know, also if you guys are in the event industry, I highly recommend, you know, you wipe down the mics. Um, I saw the, um, the covers, the wind screen for the mic. I even took out, I un unscrewed the uh, the cover of the mic, sprayed that down as well, inside and out. Um, so just, you know, do your part to not spread this. Um, and, you know, it's sad that I can't go see my parents or grandpa grandma, you know, but it is what it is, you know, unfortunately, I wasn't able to be with my dad for Father's Day. But, you know, we use the technology video call, whatever. 
um, kind of going out on a tangent, but just want to share, you know, what we're How dealing it with. With our lives. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And I regret not wearing a mask. And that's what I get to do moving forward. Um, what else? So, yeah, I just want to provide for those who are in the industry, just different tips. So, I mean, if you're not ready for the touch, the physical touch, um, I'm not ready for this. Um, we took a whole bag full of supplies from like gloves to sanitizing wipes. We had hand sanitizer right there on the DJ booth. And just being aware of what people are touching and what you're touching after them or if multiple people are touching things like the microphone or anything else, I would say just be aware of that and take proper precautions and sanitizing and cleaning and doing what you feel like is best for you in your situation. I know by region cases are different, maybe more, maybe less. We're in the DFW metro, so cases are definitely high, especially in Texas in general. So it may also depend on your region too. Are there any other tips that you could think of or takeaways going forward to because we have another wedding coming up so are, are there other like things that you might you know takeaways from this event that you can implement in the next store any other tips yeah definitely wear wearing a mask um i think once you're wearing a mask you're you're letting people know you're serious about this um and also, like, I don't know, I, I've seen people wear a mask but not cover their nose. So I feel like it's kind of pointless. If you're going to wear a mask, wear a mask properly. Um, because you're still going to be able, you know, like, you're just covering your mouth is not going <laughs> to not gonna do its job, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, just properly wear a mask. Be aware of what you're touching, who you're, you know, coming in contact with. And also, like, if you're touching your face, try not to, you know. That's really hard. You know, I know some DJs that lick their fingers <laughs> if they're using vinyl in a turntable. So we want to be conscious of all that, you know, where our hands been, where it's going, all that. Um, because this is no joke. Um, luckily for us it's been mild and you know also take vitamins and and do your best best to stay healthy that's really key and yeah i believe i sh should let you know the the next couples with their events you know let them know of what happened with this one you know so they can be prepared to you know, whatever consequences of everybody's actions. Yeah, just what to expect or maybe like even telling them your recommendations. Like, you know, I feel like it would have been better if people did wear a mask or weren't touching or hugging as much. So maybe they could make that announcement to their guests to kind of prepare them for that because I feel like, because things are opening back up. So people kind of think, oh, it's gone or oh, it's okay because things are open. It's like, no, we still need to take precautions. Um, so yeah, that, I feel like that would be a good idea to make those recommendations to um, your events as well. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you thought that was helpful, smash that like button. If you know somebody in the industry or that could use these tips, definitely share the video. Let's share the knowledge, the positivity, and... Keep it rocking. Thanks for watching. Peace.